there's a feature on Backstage that's called your intro video. And essentially what that is, is a very short introduction to your personality as well as what you sound like and what you look like when you're moving rather than just photos. I have a video where I recently tried Backstage again for 30 days because I hadn't used it for many years because I have been using Actors Access and Casting Networks primarily, but I saw that there is a new feature because I haven't used it in a while. This is the definition that Backstage has. Your intro video is your chance to show casting directors and clients, you and your on-camera personality. It's like your video profile picture. Some talking points that they suggest are your name, age, and where you're from, any relevant experience you have, your hobbies, unique skills, and then recording tips is to do landscape, no more than 30 seconds, a smile, uh, don't wear sunglasses, obviously, because you just want to be able to actually see your face. Uh, good lighting, avoid backlight, and look at the camera. So instead of like pretending to talk to somebody because it's a scene, you're gonna look at the camera. This is my self-tape audition setup. You don't have to have all of this, but of course it just makes it look cleaner and more professional. I use a ring light, my phone, and a tripod to film as well as a backdrop. And then this is what my self-tape audition looks like. I usually frame myself around the middle of my stomach and then have a little bit of space above me. If you just want to clear a wall in your house and use a blank wall, you can definitely do that or a neutral outdoor space as long as you have good lighting and outside the audio can get hard because there's more noises but the light tends to be really good just don't be in direct sunlight be in indirect sunlight so the light looks nice and even on your face since i am over 18 the age doesn't actually matter so i'll just start with my name height and where i'm located you don't want to say that you're an actor because it's probably a given because you're auditioning. Come up with something else, a hobby, something that you're passionate about, a recent trip that you took that really made your perspective on your life change. Something that has a little bit more of a story, something that excites you. Some of the things I talk about are hobbies because I have a lot of hobbies and often I will also show a physical item associated with that hobby so that it's a little bit more dynamic than if you were just watching me just standing here talking like right now. Uh, so this is what I would do for my intro video. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm 5'9". I'm located in Burbank as well as the San Francisco Bay Area and I think as adults we stop learning about new things that excite us and going on these like fun adventures that really just bring us so much joy and that's one of the reasons why I often will pick up new hobbies like I'll pick up a hobby that really excites me and about two almost three years ago I started roller skating and I have had so much fun I usually put on music that is just super high energy and I'll skate for like an hour or something and it is an amazing workout it doesn't feel like a workout when you're doing it because it's so much fun but by the end of it I am sweating pretty simple I think I think that's that's more interesting than saying like um, I really like pizza. I've always liked pizza. Maybe talk about like, your favorite food and then take a bite of it and share a memory of, with that kind of food or why it's your favorite because it's associated with some people or a certain time of year, things like that. And when you're asked for self-tape auditions, often they will ask you for current pictures of yourself because it is a virtual audition. So they wanna see what you look like now um, versus what your headshot says you look like from maybe a year ago and it was edited. I have a video right here on how you can take your current digitals.